Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nika Smith and I'm here with five truths about your DNA test. Number one, you are subject to the company's database. Unfortunately, genetics is pretty European dominated or Eurocentric. And so when it comes to people like me who have a number of different um, ethnicities that reside inside of our lovely veins here, our representation is actually not very large in these databases. So with that said, you have to make sure that you don't take the percentages that they give you to heart or that they're the law. It may be skewed, it may not be right, it may change. It really all depends on how the company defines certain ethnic groups. So as new data sets become available, you just have to kind of keep in mind that the results in terms of the percentages may not be absolutely accurate. Number two. Well, the unfortunate thing about our ancestry is it's something that we cannot control. And what I mean by that is we weren't down there shining the flashlight when the incident took place or when the uh, situation went down. And with that said, you may discover in doing a DNA test that an ancestor who you thought was your biological ancestor is actually not your biological ancestor. But DNA tests, while they provide us with these amazing percentages and, and other uh, awesome benefits, what they do also illuminate is the fact that sometimes there were some painful things that took place in our ancestry or in the history of our family that people may not have been aware about. So it's something that you need to be prepared for when you get that email saying your results are ready. Number three, somebody is going to contact you. It doesn't matter if you just took the test for their percentages or maybe you thought, oh, this would be a great Christmas gift for someone or whatever. It doesn't matter. There are a number of people who are searching for answers who are taking these DNA tests. Primarily, the most important group of those folks are adoptees. These are people who have grown up not knowing what their biological legacy is or their biological lineage, and they want answers. They want to meet their birth parents, they want to meet siblings, they want to meet family members. And one of the ways that they can do that without having to go through the legal system in order to gain access to a file is to take a DNA test. Don't not answer them. At least tell them, maybe I'm not interested in genealogy or family history research, or maybe I don't want my relative to know that they have this other kid. It doesn't matter. At least give them an answer. Number four, your results are only as good as the genealogy that you have. It's possible that you have great Aunt Sally who has traced your lineage going back to uh, the Viking era or some other time period, but that her research isn't sourced very well or is not easily verifiable. And your DNA results come out looking nothing like what Aunt Sally said your family's research was. So you got to be careful when it comes to taking the test because it may verify or may not verify what's come down in your family history in terms of oral history. The other piece too is when other folks reach out to you and contact you to make some connections, be it an adoptee or maybe even a family history researcher, they're looking for answers. And if you don't have a genealogy put together or a family history put together, you really can't offer them much. So it's best to sit down and craft a tree, even if it doesn't have much information, and make it available so that others can view it and see where their connection is to you. Number five, you are not as or, or, or as you thought you were. This is probably the number one thing that I've seen in these reveal videos that people have here on YouTube is the fact that they didn't realize that they weren't entirely solid gold five. It could be, you know, just what they believed or what they felt in their heart that they were, but when they got the results back, it wasn't actually what the case was. We got to remember we're subject to the company's database. So it's possible that they may not have unearthed that information about that particular group yet, or it's very possible, which is more likely the case that your family does not descend from this group, this group, this group, or this group. If you have more questions about how to trace your family history or how to document your genealogy and you're not sure where to get started, be sure to contact me. My link is in the comments area and hopefully I've helped you today understand what you can and cannot get from your DNA results. Bye-bye.